Is there anything creepier in this world than bugs? Well, I'm sure that you can think of a few things, but that's not the point. When it comes to insects, they are, by their very nature, creepy crawly things that are meant to freak people out. Let me move this one back over here so you get a good view. They are the embodiment of things that you don't want to see on any scale and often freak out at when you see them unexpectedly. And that says nothing of how some of them can be deadly. Yes, sometimes the most innocuous and tiny or unexpected insect or arachnid can be deadly. So join us as we have a look at 20 deadly insects you don't want to mess with. Number 20. Ticks. We're going to begin this list talking about one of the most well-known insects that can actually you. Yes, technically, you see, they're not actually insects. They're most associated with them, but they're not. They're arachnids, and you'll be seeing plenty of that kind of creature on this list as well. You have been warned. And speaking of warnings, any place that has a large amount of ticks is often cautioned against entering with large signs that warn of tick exposure. But why are such small creatures so feared? Well, it's simple, because within them they have the ability to carry various conditions that they can give to people as they dig into their bodies and their bloodstream. That's only part of their deviousness. You see, ticks have the ability to numb that part of your body that they dig into so that you'll never know that they're on you until it's too late. That's why they put those warning signs up, because 9 out of 10 times you won't see a tick on you until you're sick or someone notices it when you take off your clothing. They feed off of your blood and often put things like Lyme disease back into your bloodstream, and that's why they're so dangerous. They can infect you with various things depending on the region that you're in and how long that you've got one on you. Not so fun fact, I had an experience with a tick where I didn't notice until about a week after the family had gone through a field that was infested with them, and I'm just scratching my back and then I felt it. Now naturally, I ripped it out it, but it was certainly a freaky experience. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. The Brown Recluse Spider. Now, a spider is something that many people fear above everything else in life. Your level of fear of spiders may vary, but make no mistake, whether or not you fear them, there are plenty of them out there, and you have to be careful of them if you're in their range beginning with the brown recluse. To get right to the point, the brown recluse is one of many spider species that has a venomous bite. It is the most common and widespread of all the brown spiders, but it's usually found only in South and Central United States. More specifically, they're known to be in Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Mississippi, Alabama, parts of Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, and Nebraska. So yes, not exactly a small range. But if you think that I'm overselling the dangerousness of this spider, you'd be wrong. I'm not being blunt enough about what it can actually do to a person. People who have been bitten by the brown recluse should ice the wound and seek emergency medical treatment, as the bites from these spiders can cause necrotic, rotting skin lesions and lead to serious reactions or even death in some people. That's not something that you want to happen to you. And if you're looking for some good news about the spider, there is some, though they do have a bite that you in one single puncture, they don't actively seek out humans. In fact, part of the reason that they're called what they are is because they're known to be rather shy. They tend to only come out at night and use their web as a shelter, so the lesson learned here is that if you don't mess with them, they will more than likely not mess with you. Number 18. Fire Ants Now I'll give you a small respite from arachnids that could you and go inside to insects that will annoy the heck out of you if you're not too careful. When you come across an ant in your home or even your yard, your gut instinct may be to kill it. After all, it's an ant. 
what could they really do to you? Well, depending upon the species, they could do quite a lot, especially if they come at you in large numbers. The ones that most people know to stay away from are the red fire ants, or just fire ants, and we all know why they're called that, because they have a bite that makes your body feel like it's on fire after you've become its victim. Fire ant stings are painful, characterized by a local burning sensation, but luckily for everyone, that burning sensation is only temporary, and it's not something that you have to fear feeling long term, nor can it really kill you most of the time. As in all things, there are exceptions to the rule, and if you are repeatedly stung by a fire ant, you could develop an allergy to that sting. Plus, even though it's just an ant bite, you'll likely want to get treated just to make sure that you don't risk any adverse effects. That's another piece of good news. There are certain home remedies that you can do to get rid of that pain, but do make sure that it comes from a verified source. Another thing to look out for here is that you don't want to get swarmed by fire ants. After all, while one one bite can be annoying, numerous bites can be a real pain. And so, you don't want to go kicking over one of their ant hills because they're going to take it personally, and when they do, they're going to take it out on you. Number 17. The Blister Beetle I wonder why this creature that I'm talking about now is called the blister beetle. Surely it can't be a bug with something that allows the human body to form blisters. That would be too on the nose, right? Can you hear my sarcasm? I hope so, because that's exactly what the blister beetle does. What's even scarier is that this is not a singular bug, it's an entire family of bugs that you don't want to mess with. Easily one of the most disturbing things about this beetle is that you don't have to worry about its bite or sting, instead the way that it'll form blisters on your body is merely by secreting a substance that causes that reaction on the skin. But wait, it gets even worse, if a person seeks to eat the beetle, it has a toxin that can destroy the lining of your GI tract and can even lead to death. Let me move this one back over here so you get a good view. So not only do you want to avoid touching it, you'll definitely not want to make a mistake of having it for a snack and then get by it because you literally had a bad meal. Oh, but there is even more to this beetle, because while most humans are not just going to go up to a random bug and eat it, it's not the same with a lot of animals. That would include farm animals. The blister beetle will sometimes attach itself to something like alfalfa, and then when the animals eat it, they will then consume the beetle. But surely bugs like that can't large animal on a farm, you must say? As in all things, it's only a matter of quantity. Apparently, just a few of these beetles releasing their poison can bring down an entire horse. And if it can horse, well, it can certainly you. Number 16. The Asian Giant Hornet do you remember not so long ago when people thought the world was ending? After all, the pandemic was taking place. There was an economic collapse being threatened because of the restrictions and quarantines. And then, to top it all off, a bug that was typically only found in Asia began to make the rounds in the United States. And everyone and their grandmother freaked out about it. That's because it was called the Asian Giant Hornet, aka the Murder Hornet. Just so I can dispel some of the myths right now, that name is very much an over-exaggeration of what the hornet can do on its own. Not unlike several creatures on this list, the Asian giant murder hornet has a sting that is incredibly painful, to the point that one person who studied them and allowed it to sting them said that it was like a hot nail being pressed into his leg. It would be bad enough if it felt like a nail, and yet it was a hot nail, so the pain was definitely searing. However, just because it hurts like heck doesn't mean it's going to murder. You. A single sting will not end your life, however, also not unlike certain other things on this list, if enough of them sting you at once, it can actually you, and it has actually happened. In fact, they're noted to have about 40 people per year, which isn't too much in context, but it's a lot more than zero. One time, a woman in her wheelchair was attacked by these hornets, and because she couldn't get away or move fast enough, they just kept on stinging her. And she died in that chair and had a gaping wounds all over her body from the stings that she took. So yeah, who here wants to meet a murder hornet? No one? Oh, what a shocker. Number 15. Kissing Bugs well, this one can't be good. Kissing was already something that could 
you depending on who you kissed. I mean, have you not seen Fatal Attraction? When something called the kissing bug ends up on a list of things you don't want to mess with, well, it's probably not a good one to be kissing either. We'll start with the basic issue that they can cause. Kissing bugs can cause patches of bites, often around the mouth, and these bites are usually painless, but they may swell and look like hives. Itching from the bites can even last up to a week. So that's an annoyance that no one wants, because who would want to have some swelled lips that look like you just got an allergic reaction to something? Also, as some medical professionals have noted, the itching that can be caused by the bites will be so compulsive that you'll actually rip open your own skin and cause your body to get infections. If that's still not enough for you, there are some versions of the kissing bugs that have a parasite and that's the last thing that you're going to need inside of your body. In conclusion, even though it's called the kissing bug, it's probably one of the last things in your life that you'll ever want to put your lips on. Number 14. The Brown Tail Moth if you were to make a list of insects you may expect to see on this list, I bet that you wouldn't have expected to see a moth. After all, moths can be an annoying creature, especially near a bright light in the dark, but rarely, if ever, are the kind of creature that you need to not mess with. But what you need to focus on here is the caterpillar that the mother transforms from. The brown tail moth caterpillar has tiny poisonous hairs that can cause dermatitis similar to that of poison ivy on some sensitive individuals. People may develop dermatitis from direct contact with this caterpillar or indirectly from contact with airborne hairs. Yes, you might not even see the thing that's infecting you because it'll be floating around in the air and you'll simply run right into it. Sometimes these hairs can be launched into the air after the caterpillar is dead, so you can literally have no true contact with the creature and yet still become infected with its poison. Most people affected by the hairs develop a localized rash that's going to last for a few hours, even up to a several days, but on some sensitive individuals, it can be so severe that it lasts for several weeks. And if you're someone who prides themselves on their looks and how they appear in a public space, well, the last thing you're going to want to do is to have a rash that you're going to have to hide. So the lesson learned here is that like many other creatures of the world, sometimes it's the ones that you never see coming that can cause you the most damage. Number 13. Brazilian Wandering Spiders well, we had a good run, but now we have to get back to talking about spiders, which is not going to be fun at all. Especially when you hear about the next entry with the Brazilian Wandering Spider. Are they a spider that could you if you get bitten by them? Well, yes, they absolutely are. And there are some people who believe it's actually the deadliest spider in the world in regards to the toxins that they have inside of them. Their venom is so toxic to the nervous system that it can cause symptoms such as salivation, irregular heartbeat, and prolonged and painful issues with certain parts of the male figure. I'll let your imagination run wild on that one. It does get worse if you can even believe that. You see, these spiders are also nocturnal. So if you happen to live in the area in which they exist, you're going to never see them coming because they can easily blend into the Brazilian environment. And while you may not be intending to hurt them, they may not feel the same way as you approach. They might think that you're trying to do something and then attack you simply out of self-defense. After all of that, it can be easy to see why so many people hate the spiders. Number 12, the pus caterpillar. Now, you know something is bad when it sounds disgusting by default, as in it already sounds like something you wouldn't want to mess with, and now I have to tell you about it even more why you don't want to mess with it. We're both going to be grossed out. The pus caterpillar, or woolly slug, is the most poisonous caterpillar in the United States, which is already a very scary thing to think about because as noted before, you don't think of caterpillars as something that are deadly in any way. Its poison is hidden in hollow spines amongst its hairs. This hairy caterpillar is then found in the southern states, ranging west through most of Texas to the north 
to Maryland and Missouri, and that kind of sounds like everywhere in between. The symptoms that you get from this slug are something that you never, ever want. It can actually make you feel restless, induce you with anxiety or intense pain that comes and goes in waves, and so in the end, you should respect this caterpillar and just stay clear of it. Number 11. Bees. Now, there are actually things out there called bees, and what makes them arguably more horrifying is that they were not a natural breed. They were a scientific crossover that simply went horribly wrong, much like a B-rated horror film. And then, to top that off, colonies of them were formed, they accidentally got out, and they started spreading across North and South America. Thank you, scientists. You do a great job. The reason that these are called bees is because they will people if they become disturbed. To that end, if you do find a nest that happens to have these bees, you'll want to run quite a ways away as fast as you possibly can to ensure that they don't come after you for approaching their territory, because they will come after you in droves and you'll have thousands if not tens of thousands of stings all over your body before sweet death finally recovers you and takes you into the afterlife. So good luck with that one! Number 10. The Yellow Sack Spider The yellow sack spider is one of many of its kind, and many of those kinds of spiders are venomous, and this one is no exception to that rule. The spider's venom is called cytotoxin, which means that it's a substance that will destroy a cell or even impair its function, and that's not something that you're going to want in your body. Furthermore, it also means that it can produce necrotizing lesions, but such lesions occur rarely in bite victims. Still though, redness and swelling at the site of the bite are some common reactions. Plus, just because it doesn't happen all that often does not mean that it cannot happen, so you should watch yourself. And add to that, these spiders are going to defend themselves in all kinds of circumstances, so you may not even realize that you're in danger of them until it's quite too late. Number 9. The Tsetse Fly There are numerous reasons why we can make fun of flies, not the least of which is that they're very, very annoying when they're buzzing around you and you just want them to go away. But when it comes to the Tsetse Fly, it's one that you never want to see near you, that is if you want to live. Specifically, these flies can be carriers for a parasite that can cause African sleeping sickness. Symptoms of African sleeping sickness include fatigue, headaches, muscle aches, and high fever. And if the disease progresses, it affects the central nervous system, which results in sleep disorders, psychiatric disorders, seizures, coma, and yes, even death. Now, the good news, if there's any, is that this happening to you is quite slim. Most agree that a single exposure to such a fly will not make you become infected. However, if you were to receive multiple bites, well, the odds go up. Number 8. Giant Desert Centipede now we'll go from insects and arachnids to a creature that has many more legs than all of them. I'm talking, of course, about the giant desert centipede, a thing that we really don't want to see because centipedes and millipedes are incredibly creepy no matter what size they might be. The giant desert centipede has an immensely painful bite, and some even say that it's more painful than a certain other creature's bite that I'll talk about later on. Compared to other centipede bites, this species brings pain that is almost unbearable, and when bitten, its venom travels through your body and the pain becomes worse as it passes. Think about that for a moment. It's not only the bite that you have to worry about, it's also the aftermath and how long that it takes. You'll wake up every day wondering how bad the pain is going to be, and with that promise, it'll likely be worse than the day before. Number 7. The Bulldog Ant if any of you own a bulldog, then you know just how wily it can be. Do these qualities then transfer to the bulldog ant? Well, yes, yes they do. The bulldog ant hauls a powerful poison that can cause some decent damage, like painful burns on the skin, which can leave permanent scarring or an incredibly severe allergic reaction. So here's another creature where the bite slash sting that you receive is just the beginning of your problems. Plus, the scars to make you remember it by, that's another issue entirely. 
The pain that this ant brings is so bad that the Guinness Book of World Records has put it as being the most dangerous ant in the entire world. So even the clipboard clutchers at Guinness know to fear this ant. And if that doesn't persuade you, I suppose that nothing will. In other words, stick with the bulldog and leave the ants be. Number 6. Redback Spider The good news about this spider is that you won't have to worry about it unless you're in Australia, the capital of murderous creatures within the world. Those of you out there that are down under, you know that you have my pity. Because aside from all the murderous snakes and insects and everything else, you have an arachnid that's the cousin to the Black Widow. Oh, and if you're in New Zealand, Belgium, or Japan, you should keep an eye out because they've traveled there because of grapes. Don't blame me, I didn't pack those crates. They have a potent toxin which can produce pain, sweating, rapid heartbeats, and swollen lymph nodes, and that's just a regular Saturday night in America. The spider can moderate the amount of venom it injects, and the severity of these symptoms will often depend on how much venom is delivered. Another thing to note is that they tend to be not aggressive, so unless you put yourself in a too close for comfort situation with these spiders, you will probably be fine. Number 5. The Human Botfly now, you've likely heard about this fly many times before on this channel, and every single time that you've heard about it, and I've had to talk about it, it has been absolutely disgusting. That's because the human botfly has a very disgusting process of laying its eggs and growing its young. Specifically, they are not going to be afraid to use even you as an incubator. And I'm not joking, the human botfly will lay their eggs on you, and then when the larva hatches, it will burrow into your skin and then will begin growing inside of you until it comes out all happy and healthy. It's absolutely freaky and further proof that these flies suck. That's why if you think that it's happening to you, you should go to the doctor immediately and have them remove everything completely so that you don't suffer any major injuries afterwards. Number 4. The Death Stalker now, do I really need to say it? You don't get that name unless you're really bad news. And guess what? This is our first scorpion on the list. The Death Stalker is easily one of the most dangerous scorpions in the world. I mean, otherwise it wouldn't have that name. And tests have shown that it will get you sick in 97% of all cases. And so your odds are not really that good to dodge a bullet if you get stung. The venom itself can you based on your age or your weight, but more times than not, it will also force your body to have an allergic reaction of sorts, and that can easily you. Oh, and you shouldn't rely on any antivenom here. The cure to its sting is you're going to need lots and lots and lots of it. Number 3. The Bullet Ant if you thought I was done with ants and how they can mess you up, well, no, I'm not quite done yet. And you may have been wondering if a certain species of hard-hitting ant would show up on this list. Well, wonder no more, because I'm here to talk about the bullet ant. Because it always ends up on these lists. Every single time, in every single video. But nonetheless, just like the fire ant, the name for this ant is pretty self-explanatory. This ant has a strong sting slash bite that is so painful that it feels like you've been shot by a bullet. The bullet ant sting is currently the highest on Schmidt's Sting Pain Index at 4.0 plus, and according to Justin O. Schmidt, the pain is like walking over flaming charcoal with a 3-inch nail embedded in your heel. And that's just one way that people have described this bite. Others have noted that the bullet ant is so powerful that you will feel that pain without end for about a day. Just imagine that one. You get bit by this ant, and no matter what you do, the pain won't go away for many, many hours. And so, for you to willingly go and seek out a bullet ant to get bitten by it would make you psychotic. Except that there are actually some tribes in Brazil who will force their young men to put on specially made gloves that are overflowing with bullet ants so that they can learn to endure the pain and learn to be men through it. If it means that I'll be called a child forever, if I don't do it, well, I'll forsake the ritual, thank you very much. These ants are so popular that they were used as one of the key weapons of Ant-Man in his first film within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and no matter where you see them, give them the respect they deserve, or else you may end up feeling their wrath. Number 2. 
Funnel Web Spiders Now this is indeed the final spider on this list, so we should all be jumping up and down for joy, but I still have to talk about it. If you're wondering why they're called that, it's because of how their webs look and how they use them to catch their prey. They're easily one of the most deadly spiders in the world, and the bad news for you is that this is a very aggressive kind of spider, and that means it's not going to wait for you to get it. It'll just come straight for you if it wants, so have some fun with that. Oh, and here's another thing to have nightmares about. There's an entire family of spiders like this, but fortunately, if you don't live in Australia, you probably will never encounter this thing. And if you do happen to get bitten by one of these bastards, the common symptoms will include pain and swelling around the bite area, sweating, nausea, vomiting, difficulty breathing, and in severe cases, it can cause muscle spasms, high blood pressure, and even death. Number 1. Driver Ant There are a lot of names for the driver ant. Those include African ant, safari ant, and more, but no matter what you call it, this is easily the most dangerous ant in the world and something that you never ever want to mess with unless you have a literal death wish. Why is that? Well, because what makes these ants so deadly is not their venom or even their bite, it's the numbers when they go and attack an animal. These are the kind of ants that move in swarms, and they'll literally race over you, bite you to death, and then slowly rip you apart so that they can take your remains back to the nest. You might think that I'm joking about it, but guess what? I'm not. In fact, they've been known to take on animals that are much, much larger than them, and they not only win, but they whittle them down to their literal bones. The other thing is, there are reports that these driver ants have taken on elephants and won the battle simply by swarming them and biting them with their powerful mandibles. That's a scary thought for all of the right and wrong reasons. Who thought that it was a good idea to make ants that smart? Oh, and to assure you of the numbers game that they have going on, when it's time for mating season, the queen of the colony can lay about a million eggs per month, that is, per month, and that's why they can swarm you in overwhelming numbers, and they're being born faster than you can even possibly imagine. So with that being said, are you going to go and mess with a horde of driver ants? I don't think so, and I'm glad that you'll still be alive afterwards as a result. That's all from the realm of insects, arachnids, and other creepy crawlies that are going to kill you if you get too close. Are you now more terrified of them because of what you've seen today, or did you already have that fear? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comment section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.